hello welcome back in the last video we learned how to parameterize so essentially what we have done in the last video we have parameterized this student one or teacher one with the parameter called p underscore x notice that this p underscore x is a parameter and this has a special symbol that we need to uh, enclose in so here we are enclosing it with a curly braces and why curly braces why not something else that has been determined by configuration option and to know that configuration option what you need to do you need to go to tools and then uh, click on preference and go to the scripting and you should see some here some are the parameters and here is saying that the left parameter delimiter is a bracket and right bracket and you can basically give your your choice of things not a problem but this is how the views and parser is going to parse if it is a curly braces and this thing this is going to be a system parameter and that is what we have done and during runtime it is going to substitute the value that we got from there and here are some more options that we are going to explore in this video so so user, so basically we have submitted a user id and password so here in this case in our system all the password is set to welcome one okay but that is not usually the case like you know some user might have a, a different password right so in that case what we need to do we also need to parameterize this one okay and same procedure we can do we can go to uh, replace with a parameter and we can create a new parameter and what's going to do it's going to create another data file so that is going to correspond to say p underscore y okay but instead of that let's try to see how can we reuse the parameter file that we have created in in the first place for the password as well so to see the parameters you can go to, you can click on this uh, you know parameters icon and if you double click it then it will give you the parameter list the list of parameters that is there in this script and we have at this time only one uh, list and th this is a list and this is the corresponding data file so what we can do we can add a column here okay and what is the column name let's call that column name password okay and here we give as welcome one and this also welcome okay so what we have done we have created a new column and that column name is pass and we we put them here so basically the p underscore x dot dat so that is the data file all right and then what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new parameter and it's a new parameter let's say call this one as pass okay so new parameter name is pass and then it will ask you what is the data file and at this time i do not have any data file called pass on dot dat what i can do i can reuse the data file that was used for p underscore x okay so to do that go to browse and p dot x dot okay so now this is the data file for the pass so this is the parameter name and this is the data file name and and don't confuse yourself that whatever the parameter name the data file name should be the up same name and that's completely wrong you can have some xyz one two three dot that and you just have to come and link the parameter with the data file okay so what p on p underscore x is saying p underscore x is saying that it is using this data file and here you see like you know what whenever i'm going to iterate which column that i want to select so here the two option uh, this is the first column and this is the second column so here it is showing by number two so that is wrong whenever i want to do p underscore x so p underscore x is this value right so that time i want to choose the first column so therefore i just want to give one i just want to give one okay whenever i'm going to pass that time i'm going to use the second column okay so now p underscore x is pointing to the first column pass is pointing to the second column and it says that what is the delimiter between the columns and that is comma separated if i edit that password file in a notepad so this is how it's going to look like the student one 
then delimiter the the password all right and now looks like everything's all set for me and I just close it and place this one replace with a parameter and what is the parameter name is pass okay and, and one, more, one more problem so let's click on this uh, you know let's go to the properties of that uh, parameter parameter properties and then what is saying is that whenever I'm going to choose the parameter for pass which is welcome one how do I choose the next row and I want to choose the next row as same line as P underscore X okay so that is what I want to choose whenever I'm going to choose P underscore X I will choose a line from that parameter file and that parameter and that value is say student one whenever I'm going to choose the pass I want to choose thus in the same line on which the student one was there so therefore it will come with the same with, with the expected value okay so now let's run this thing okay so it looks like the test run fine and let's see the test result and this is the first iteration in the first iteration we saw student one and in second iteration we saw teacher one so what we have done here we have parameterized both user ID and password and here's a summary what we what we have done we have you we are using one parameter file and that parameter file just by chance has p underscore x dot dat it can be of any file it doesn't matter all right and and we are using the password also from the same file and whenever for the and then we configure the parameter properties so that we will pick up the password that is of same line whenever it's picked up the user id so that way if you are going to have here you know 1000 you know user id and password then if you run 1000 iteration and the view gen is going to going to going to pass this file and then log in the user as given in this in this file and so, so that is what uh, you know there's some some extension of parameterization so this is a new feature that you will learn in the parameterization thank you